Welcome to Eccleston Piano Teacher. This short video is going to consider what transposition is. It's all to do with lowering or raising the sound of a passage or a chord or a note to make things easier for you to play. Transposition is talking about lowering or raising the pitch of a tune or chords whilst still playing the same notes on our instrument, whether it's piano, keyboard, clarinet, French horn, or whatever. So for example, a well-known children's song, Twinkle Twinkle. Now I've started it in C major with the notes C, E, G and E. Now if I play the notes in as if it was in D major, D, F sharp, A, if I want it to sound like that, I actually have to play these notes. But if I use the transpose function, for example, uh, on this keyboard, if I go up two semitones, hear that, I'm playing the notes C, E and G as if it's in C major, but it's actually sounding like D. So if I cancel the transposition, go back to what's known as concert pitch, I'm playing C, E and G, and what's sounding is not that. Okay, now guitarists get away with uh, a very easy way of transposing, by using uh, one of these. It's a capo which will go on to the neck of the guitar and placed according to the set of chords you want to play. So transposition can make life easier for a band and singers when the chords downloaded onto a chord sheet they are awkward, such as C sharp minor, E flat minor, or for example when the singer has a cold and can't reach the high notes. So semitones and tones, the nuts and bolts, keyboards, as a machine, they think in semitones. What is a semitone? A semitone is the smallest interval, the smallest distance between any two notes on the keyboard or piano or violin, although you can do microtones on a violin. And C to C sharp, that is a semitone. C sharp to D is a semitone. So C to D consists of two semitones, so it is a tone or a whole tone. And it doesn't matter whether you're going up or down. So for example, going from E down to E flat, that's still a semitone, even though we've gone down the way. E to F sharp, it's two semitones. E to F is a semitone. F to F sharp is a semitone. So E to F sharp is a whole tone. A keyboard such as this Yamaha E373 the transposition function operates using these semitones, as do most other keyboards as well. An octave. An octave is a useful concept to understand. It's the distance, that's the interval, from one note to the next note of the same name. So in this case, C up to the next C is one octave. If you go from this C up to this C, it's two octaves apart. One two and an octave consists of 12 semitones let's count them so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve semitones now remember a semitone is an interval between two notes so if you think how many notes are involved in an octave it's actually one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen notes but it's only twelve intervals twelve semitones but that's useful information because when you go to the transpose function and you go minus 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that C now sounds the way this C would sound at concert pitch. And of correspondingly, the other C sounds an octave lower than it would uh, if it wasn't transposed. So if I cancel that transposition and go back to concert pitch, that C sounds as it did before and middle C sounds as it should do normally. So on a keyboard, to play the chords in the key of C major, but sound in A major, you can transpose down minus three. So here's C major chord. If I want to sound an A major chord, but perhaps I've only been playing for a year or six months, I need to transpose down minus three for an A major chord. So I'm going to play the chord, the notes for a C major chord. Here it's sounding different. 
I'll cancel that. Still playing the notes for a C major chord, but I'm now sounding C again because I've cancelled the transposition. On a traditional piano, transposition is possible, but requires quite a good understanding of chords and scales. For example, say you have a band practice and one song has a chord progression A major, D major, E major, A major. But the keyboard player in the band can't play these chords. So he could download the song in C major. C chord, then F chord, G chord, back to C. But he or she would need to activate the transpose function and take it down three semitones. One, two, three. So I'm going to play the chords of C as if it's in C major. Here it's not sounding the same, the same way it was. It's now sounding as if it's in A major. So that keyboard player can now play along with the guitarist, the bass player, who are playing along as if it's in A major. And if I cancel the transposition, chord of C, F, G, and C. So these are the basic uh, nuts and bolts of what transposition is all about. And it, it's also showing you how it can be very useful in certain situations. So an orchestral clarinet, which is called clarinet in B flat, whenever it plays a C, it actually sounds the B flat even though it's playing the keys on the clarinet of C. If it was to play a D, to key a D, it would sound a C, it's a whole tone lower. French horn in F, so it sounds a fifth lower. So if it plays a C, it will sound a fifth lower, the F, that's orchestral horn in F.